Welcome to Spiritual Interiors. Thank you for tuning in today. I will be showing you how to decorate a shoe horse with beads, dried flowers and feathers. I was fortunate to get these used horseshoes from my dad who had a horse called Rua. You can purchase from different avenues like Trade Me. I have seen on which is if you do not live in New Zealand is equivalent to eBay. Also I have seen mock-up ones on AliExpress. Firstly I'm going to show you how to thread the jute string through to be able to hang. Most horseshoes have holes where the nails go through to attach to horseshoe. So I'm threading through two pieces of jute string and tying knots to hold string in place. Once you have done that, you can cut off excess string where knots have been tied. Next step is to use your glue gun to glue jute string to back of horseshoe. Then you start winding onto horseshoe very tightly until you reach the other side of horseshoe where knotted. As you can see, I am covering the knot and excess string where knot is. When you reach the other side, can cut jute string and glue to back. Make sure you do keep it tight all the way round. As you can see, the finished jute string wrapped horseshoe. Glued it off at the end, wrapped around to the other side and tied a knot, the two ends, so can be hung. With another horseshoe, I am showing you cutting the end and gluing once wrapped around horseshoe. Also tying the ends and tying knot, so able to be hung. So you will do this whole process for all your horseshoes, whether they are beaded and wired or using dried floral material. The beaded and wired process takes a little longer than the dried floral process. I tend to do this whole process first for all my horseshoes. I am going to make before starting to decorate. Here I am showing you how to attach jute string and feathers to the bottom of horseshoe. Cut your jute strings to different lengths. They do not need to be the same length as they look better in my opinion, different lengths, less formal. Fold the jute string in half then loop around bottom of horseshoe. Take a couple of feathers, wrap the jute string around feathers twice, then tie a double knot tight. Then cut excess off the end if needed. Once you have finished attaching all your feathers, I have a little silver cowboy hat that I've added to jute string and gluing in the middle of horseshoe. Be careful not to burn your fingers when working with hot glue. Press firmly to set. Now for the gemstone I have chosen. Try to find a flat gemstone as it will be far easier to glue to horseshoe. I will be gluing in the middle of horseshoe on top of the jute string with cowboy hat. Press firmly to set glue. I find a lot of my charms on AliExpress. Using a small piece of 24 gauge wire, I start wrapping around the gemstone to secure even more. Press in under the gemstone. This can be a little tricky to get started. You can, if need, put a little bit of hot glue to secure the wire in place.
Now take a piece of 24 gauge wire using your round nose pliers form a loop. Here to the left I've already finished bead wired strands that will be added to the horseshoe. Take your curved pliers to hold loop while you twist wire end to secure loop. Then use your cutting pliers to cut end. And curve pliers to crimp. Once you have done that, use cutting pliers to cut wire. Take your cut wire, add bead. Using round nose pliers again, form a loop and watch the same process as before with using the different pliers. Now add a wire ring to loop. Open with curved pliers. Put through loop of bead and crimp closed ring. Start again with round nose pliers to form a loop. Add finished wide bead to loop. Again using curved pliers to hold loop while twist. This will keep the bead in place. The same process again with pliers. Add another bead and do same process with pliers. When you get to the end of wiring your lengths of beads, we'll need to add your little charm at the end. I've used a crescent moon. Same process, form loop with round nose pliers, add charm, used curved pliers to hold charm while twisting wire around, use cutting pliers to cut any excess wire off, then use curved pliers to pinch the end so not sharp to pull on anything. Now you have your completed lengths to attach to horseshoe. Now I'm adding lengths of beads to horseshoe. This can be a little fiddly. The little metal ring I put on, we open again with curved pliers. Add to jute string with feathers at the top and pinch closed. The ring again with curved pliers. You keep adding all your bead lengths until finished. Add 
you can see, I have finished adding all the bead lengths. Now it is best to tighten all the jute strings by pulling them tight to the horseshoe. Now I will be adding the beads to the horseshoe. Start by forming a loop with your 24 gauge wire, same process as in previous videos. Add bead to wire using hot glue gun. Glue the bead to horseshoe to secure. Press down firmly to hold. Then start threading the rest of your beads on the wire. Tuck the loop into the wrapped jute string on one side. A tip is using a lot of flat beads for this area of horseshoe. Thread the beads until you reach the gemstone in the middle. Once you have threaded all the beads onto wire, again form your loop. Glue bead at end and press onto horseshoe firmly. Put loop under gemstone. Glue that as well to secure. Repeat the same process for the other side. This can be a little fiddly as well. As you can see, I have completed both sides of horseshoe with beads. Now it is time to add the 24 gauge wire wrapping around beads and horseshoe to secure even more. I glued the end of the wire into the back of horseshoe. Wrap the wire around the whole horseshoe until you reach the other side. Cut and tuck and glue into back of horseshoe at top of jute string. I have here a little metal cowboy boot I am adding to loop at top of where the beads start. Use a metal ring to attach to loop. Using your curved pliers, open ring, put through loop and press ring closed again so the cowboy boot does not slip out. One completed beaded horseshoe. Now for the dried floral horseshoe. Same process with adding jute string to horseshoe as beaded one. Also with the feathers, but I have added a few beads before adding feathers and there are no wired beads added. I have added metal buffalo head in the middle as well, attached to jute string. I am showing you here how to add your dried material and feathers. So you start by adding your outer dried material. Used florist snips to hold down while gluing. It prevents burned fingers. Repeat same process on the other side. Then add feathers. So you keep layering up your dried material to the middle.
Once layered up outer material, it's time to add dried material in the middle. So I have added small sunflower in the middle and dotted some small dried daisies around. Again, press to hold firmly to set hot glue. Horseshoes are a great gift if you require good luck, as that is what they represent. Here I have completed beaded horseshoes and dried floral and feather horseshoes for your home or market selling. You can come up with your own ideas to decorate as well. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you've enjoyed watching how to make decorative horseshoes. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Happy crafting. Enjoy.